And that was a unanimous decision. But leading up to that uh, meeting last night, the owners here at Pete's Bar, they sent the council this letter requesting that the council would at least consider to grant them the opportunity to bring this party back. They say that this is something that they wanted to do because they know how big of an event it is. Typically, where we are on First Street, this area is all closed off because of that Thanksgiving party. It starts right at that street where you see uh, Atlantic Boulevard stretches all the way down to Orange Street. And again, that is planning to happen again this year. Oh, happy Thanksgiving! Here's a look at what the event has looked like in years past, where thousands of people flood the streets to celebrate Thanksgiving here. These streets were empty last year because COVID-19 shut down the event. Pete's Bar is ready to reignite a tradition that's been a part of the community for nearly 40 years. It would be from 9 o'clock Thanksgiving morning to 1 o'clock that afternoon. Last week, Neptune Beach's city manager sent Pete's Bar and three other businesses who would participate in this a letter granting permission to host the event pending a decision from city council. Now that it is approved, the organizers are going to have to abide by 26 conditions from the city. Some of them include listing prohibited items at each entry, having the streets cleared and ready to open back up to traffic by 2 o'clock that afternoon, and making sure the area is clear of debris once the party is over. And the same letter from Pete's Bar's owners also talks about the fact that a lot of people were already coming to them and asking them if they were planning to have the celebration. Now they can officially let them know that the party is back on. Reporting live in Neptune Beach, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, the local station.